Welcome to the series on statistics for managers. In the beginner level, we cover the basics of statistics, probability fundamentals, and descriptive statistics. We may have this question in mind that how data is analyzed, what are the ways in which we can summarize the data to make certain conclusions. In this lesson we'll go through a basic overview of the subject statistics. We learn what is statistics, what do we mean by data and what are the types of statistical analysis which are done to understand the data. Statistics is a study which involves collection, organization, analyses and interpretation of data. It helps in providing a numerical summary of the data being analyzed. Let us see more about the data. Data are values of qualitative or quantitative variables belonging to a set of items. There are two more terms, variable and attributes. The values of a variable vary and are measurable, while attributes are the characteristics of an object. For example, attribute for a product can be defective and not defective, while variable can be in terms of number of defects, defect density etc. These can be further classified in terms of continuous and discrete data. In case of discrete data, only a finite number of values are possible on a scale. While in case of continuous data, infinite number of values possible on a given scale. An example for discrete data is number of defects, which can start from 0, 1, and go up to n, though n will have a limit. While if we talk about an example of continuous data, that is the defect density, there are infinite number of values possible between 0 to n. Here the defect density could be any number, it can also be in decimal numbers. Now we'll understand the concept of scale of measurements. There are the four types of scales. It is important to understand these scales because they impact the type of statistical analysis that can be performed on the data. We can classify these scales with the help of four characteristics. Whether the data can be measured, whether can be ordered, whether the data values are equidistant, does the difference between any two data points is always same and whether the data values may have a meaningful zero. In case of nominal data, the data cannot be arranged in an ordering scheme, it is not measured, it can be counted. There is no significance in interpreting the distance between two data values and there is no absolute zero. Examples of this type of data include gender, male-female, nationality, Indian, American etc., type of occupation, daily wages, software professional, government employee etc. Let us see now the characteristics of ordinal scale. Ordinal data can be arranged in some order, but other characteristics are not found in this case. For example, an ordered data of satisfaction rating. Dissatisfied, satisfied. Pass fail, opinions like poor, good, very good. Here we can say that the order of values is of importance, but we cannot quantify the difference between each value. Third type is interval scale. Interval scales are numeric scales in which we know not only the order, but also the exact differences between the values. For example IQ score of 100, we know that the score 120 is 20 points greater than 100, but we cannot say that a person scoring 120 is 1.2 times more intelligent. Also, there is no significance of the zero here, as zero cannot prove that a person has no intelligence. Other examples include, temperature measured in degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit, dates, time intervals measured on a clock. Fourth type is ratio scale. It has all the stated characteristics. We know the order of the values, exact difference and also there is an absolute zero. Let us understand this with the help of an example. If Alex makes two chairs a day and Bob makes four chairs a day, we can say Bob makes chairs at a double rate per day than Alex. There may be days when no chairs are made, so we can say zero chairs made a day. Other examples are distance or height if measured with a measuring tape, temperature in Kelvin, time interval measured with a stopwatch etc. The difference between interval scale and ratio scale is that, in the ratio scale the absolute zero is meaningful, it represents absence of something. While in interval scale the zero is arbitrary, it does not mean a true absence of something. Like in the example of IQ score, it may come to zero but it does not give a meaningful relation with the intelligence of a person. Another important thing to notice here is that, nominal and ordinal data are the examples of qualitative data, 
while interval and ratio data are the examples of quantitative data. Since we now know what is statistics and what is the data and various data types, let us quickly understand the two types of statistical analyses which can be performed on a data. Descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. Descriptive statistics is a set of method to describe the data that is collected. If we have collected 100 data points, the descriptive statistics will provide a summary of those 100 data points. The other type is inferential statistics, which is used to make generalization, estimates and predictions based on the collected data. It uses information, pattern from a sample data to draw inferences about a population represented. In descriptive statistics, we come across the terms like central tendency, measure of spread and measure of the shape of the distribution. In inferential statistics, we'll see hypothesis testing, correlation and regression analysis. With the help of inferential statistics we can predict, forecast the values which are either in, or associated, with the population. We'll cover the descriptive statistics in detail in this training. Should you need any support, feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching this video.